Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So today we are talking about this issue where people have been unable to access their network whether it is Wi-Fi or LAN doesn't matter. This started happening after the latest update and people have not been able to do so after that. So let's get into it and fix it. First step you need to do is go to your search bar over here and type down device manager. You'll see an option over here like this click on it and a window will open up in a few seconds. You'll see this window. In this window search for an option that says network adapters. In the network adapter option, options you'll see an option that says Wi-Fi adapter or the adapter that you are using. For I am for my PC I'm using Relink. You might be using Intel or some other brand. So right click your adapter and click on disable device. Before you do so just you can see over here my Wi-Fi is connected. I can disable the device right now and you'll see it is no longer connected. Not connected. And then what you need to do is right click again and click enable. So what we are doing here is disabling and enabling it to fix this issue. After that is done just restart your system and the issue might have been gone. In case if it hasn't what you need to do is uninstall your latest updates. For, you, me, for me you can see that it is already connected and working fine. For you if it's not working what you need to do is go to your start menu over here. Click on settings. Click on option that says update and security. You'll see an option that says view update history. That will show you a list of the, all the updates that have been in the past few months. You'll see an option on top that says uninstall updates. Click on that. A window like this will open up where you have to search for the latest option for update for Microsoft Windows. So as you can see here is the option for update for Microsoft Windows and it is dated for yesterday that is 2109. So it's 21 September. What I have to do is just click on it and on the top you will see an option that says uninstall. Click on uninstall and click on yes. So as soon as you click on yes this will uninstall the update you have selected and your PC, your PC will go back to the same as it was before the update therefore fixing the issue. So this was it. I hope this helped. If you like this video click on the like button below. If you are new to the channel and want to check out the latest content click on the red subscribe button below and have a good one.